I'm Greg Garbos of Four Season Tools. We're here at Turner Farm on North Haven Island, and we're going to be talking about today is infrastructure for movable greenhouses. What we're going to be talking about is how to put in propane, water, and electricity. I'm standing in the middle of several movable greenhouse plots. The building to my left is a three-position movable greenhouse. It's currently in the furthest position all the way back. This plot right here, right in front of me, is the middle position. And then all the way up here where all this row covering is, this is the third position and the closest position to the camera. The building behind me is also a three position movable greenhouse. It's currently in its middle position. So right here where all this row covering is, is the front position on this direction, and there's another plot behind the greenhouse. So when you're laying out your greenhouses, you want to be thinking about where you're going to put water, where you're going to put electricity, and if it's going to be heated structure, how are you going to get your fuel source. In this situation, when these greenhouses were laid out, we decided for every three position greenhouse that we would have two points where our water and our electricity would come. So right here is a great example. We've got a frost free hydrant that's buried below the frost line to make sure that none of the pipes freeze. And then behind it, we've got a post and we've got mounted an electrical panel. This panel is set up in such a way where our power cords come up from underneath, similar to like an RV park so that if it rains, that none of, those none of those electrical connections are going to be compromised. So what we did is we located this entire pedestal in between two of the movable greenhouse plots. If you look all the way up here, you'll see that we have one for these two plots all the way up on this side. So this has a three position, three plot. There's a pedestal up here in between these two plots, and there's another pedestal behind me in between the second and third plots. So that's the same for the first, second, and third plot, they share those two pedestals. So at any point, if this greenhouse is here and we want to run power to it, we can just run it from that box right to this corner of the greenhouse. If we move the greenhouse to the plot that's right behind me, what will happen then is we'll have our electricity go from that box right into this other side, and it comes in the opposite side of the structure. The way that these greenhouses were built, they have irrigation systems. So the irrigation systems are designed that you can come in and you actually can bring your water in from different ends of the greenhouse depending on which plot it's in. So this layout for this greenhouse is the same as the greenhouse right over here. The greenhouse is all the way to my right. This is a heated plant house. It is a movable greenhouse, but right now it's currently being left in a stationary position because of some of the infrastructure that it has. So you can't see it, but in this corner closest to me, we have our water and our electricity come up inside the greenhouse. That works out nice, so you never have to worry about draining your hoses or anything like that when it's freezing outside. You also see this little smokestack coming out of this end of the, of the greenhouse. It's got some propane tanks on the end, and because it's stationary and works out really well, you just go ahead and have the propane tanks outside the structure running into the heater. So that building is kind of handled differently because it's kept stationary. Eventually, the goal is to actually make that building a movable greenhouse, and then that infrastructure will serve both the plot that it's in and the plot that's right behind it. So those are some of the different considerations to take into account when you're laying out your greenhouse plots and trying to figure out how to make sure you always have power and water and that you don't freeze any of your